Here's an interesting tidbit. These fascination machines were made with a very special feature. They were the first fascination machines that were made with an optional four corner system. When this was produced, it was the first one that had optional four corners. I replicated it immediately after in my 1938 tables when I was operating in Keensburg Amusement Park. These tables were brand new. My tables in Keensburg at that time were about 45 years old and I installed the four corner system. Here we are many, many years later and in operating these tables, I have learned that the four corner system that was created is flawed. There's a problem in the engineering that was done with the four corners. Well, it goes back to a significant problem that was made in the tables from the 1950s. There was a flaw in the tables in the 50s that if you created a certain pattern on the machine, it would ring off with five in a row. I'll show you the pattern. If this machine was being played and you got the following lights, Now, what would happen when I light this last light? Nothing, because nobody's got five in a row. So if I light the light, nothing happens. But in the table series that were made in the 50s, there was a flaw in their design, and that pattern would ring off the same as if you got five in a row. Well, a similar thing was designed incorrectly when they did the four corners on these machines. To demonstrate, I'm going to clear the machines. Start a new game. I turn the four corner system on. Right now they're activated. Each time a ball goes in the hole, it lights the corresponding light. If I light the four corners, the game will ring, and there's a winner. The winner receives the prize. Generally, four corners will be a bonus win, so they get extra. However, the design engineer on these tables made a, made a mistake. And I'll show you what happens. If I like the four corners, but I'm not going to like this last corner, I'm not going to touch the bottom row light. The light is not on. But if I were to make a diagonal line, watch what happens. When the diagonal line lights, the light for the four corners that was missing automatically appears, even though no ball ever touched the switch, nor did my finger. To show you the severity of the flaw, again simulating, I have three out of the four corners, and I'm going to win vertically with this line here. Watch what happens when I light the last light on the vertical line. The four corners light comes on also, bringing the game. The seriousness of this problem does not affect the operation of the games to hurt it, but for the operation, the four corners would pay a bonus win, and when players really don't have four corners, they win with another line, the four corners would light up, and the winner would get a prize. Now, you might say, there's something wrong with that one table. Not. We'll go to the next table over. If I can reach it, not too easily. Let me go down to the other end here. I can reach the table better. Here we are at the table on the other end. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll light three corners, and let's win with the red line. The four corners lit up along with the red line, even though nobody got the four corners. It's an interesting problem. The defect is actually simply in the engineering, and 